Sup people, King of the Dead here, and I just want to take a moment to review a cartoon that just randomly popped into my head. What the hell was Seeker Mountain Fort Awesome, and why did Kid Me enjoy it? This straight up ugly show was created by Peter Browngart and came out back in the year of our Lord, 2011, and didn't even last a year. Before I even get started, here's something for you guys to chew on while I get these clips together that I put together for you. The designers of this show won awards for Outstanding Individuals and in Animation at the 64th Prime Emmy Award Ceremony. Yeah. Yeah, think about that. I know I will every time I close my eyes at night. Bro, this brolicious temporary tribal tattoo is going to be so brotastically horrific. Bro, 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 bro. This show is about a small group of monsters called the Disgustoids who are outcasts of society for being, well, disgusting. The members of the group consist of their leader, Festro, the brains, Gwylock, the pet, Dingle, the idiot, Slog, and the muscle, the fart. God, I hate this so much. This show and Uncle Grandpa go hand in hand. And let me tell you folks, here's one little secret. Here, I'll, here, I'll come close and whisper to you. Uncle Grandpa is the worst show in cartoon history. Not a joke. Don't laugh. I hate that show so much, every time I think about it, I get a little bit closer to a violent breakdown. And y'all don't want to know what a dead man is capable of. Jeez, Stu, did you forget your dice again? All right, I'm coming! But, oh well, as I said it before, as a kid, I really enjoyed this show. I'd watch reruns and keep up with the new episodes. Like, full disclosure, I once threw a full-on tantrum just because my brother had dibs on the TV when a new episode would drop. True story. This tune just looks disgusting, and you aren't forgiven just because that was the point. It might have worked for shows like Invader Zim or Coward Chicken, but it ain't really working for this one. The color palette fu- Fuck, I'm not redoing it. The color palette isn't exactly easy on the eyes. Just about every panel is just a big mess of every color grid on max brightness. Not a single joke lands, the personalities of the Disgustoids all suck, every single side character looks like they asked a five-year-old to draw a person while blindfolded, and the entire character that is the fart can burn in the magmatic pits of the underworld. I will buy a ticket on the exact same bus just to make sure he's burning. It's not funny, Cartoon Network. Just a living assortment of cheeks constantly farting is not funny. What grown man thought this would be peak comedy? Seriously. This is a new low, even for you, Festro. Dingle, Bro Manor has once again proven that she is more of a bro to us than Festro ever was. But I guess I gotta give credit where credit is due. I assume Uncle Grandpa is doing relatively well, and if that's doing well, then clearly there is some appeal going there in the same direction that this show went. That might have flopped it, but it's the it's the same show. Like, you can throw any character in any scene and mix them around, and you'll never stop at thing that looks out of place. You, it just looks the same. Final verdict from King of the Dead. If you have even the slightest memory of this show, then I am, I'm just so sorry. Because I, too, suffer your fate. Come on. Come here. Bring it in. Let's cringe together. And if you like this show, why? Like, why? I don't I don't understand. Oh, I got to go wash my mind of this crap. Where's my Popeye DVD? All right, guys. I don't got much to say on this one. Just needed to get some of that off my chest. And I appreciate anyone who bought the to listen. King of the Dead signing off.